Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, obtuse uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, base uh, AB is uh, two units, and moreover, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 45 degrees, and this angle uh, ACB is uh, 15 degrees. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Just keep in mind that we are not supposed to be using uh, the law of uh, sines uh, and cosines uh, to find the area of this uh, given triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of triangle uh, formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And here we can see that our base uh, of this triangle uh, is uh, 2. And let me label uh, the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, by lowercase uh, h. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the height uh, of this uh, given uh, triangle. And now let's focus on this uh, given uh, obtuse uh, triangle whose uh, base uh, is being represented by lowercase uh, x and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase uh, h and moreover this angle is called alpha whereas uh, this uh, exterior angle is called beta. Then we can calculate the height uh, of this given triangle by using this uh, formula. And the formula is uh, height h equals to the base uh, x uh, divided by tangent of 90 degrees uh, minus alpha minus uh, tangent of 90 degrees uh, minus uh, beta. And now let's revert our attention back to our own problem. Let me label uh, this uh, angle as our angle uh, alpha and this uh, exterior angle as our angle uh, beta. And we know our angle alpha is uh, 45 degrees. And now we are going to calculate uh, this exterior angle uh, beta now. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, its two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here we can see that this angle C is uh, our exterior angle. And that angle is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles uh, A and uh, B such that uh, this angle uh, C is going to be equal to A plus B. And now we can see that beta is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles uh, 45 degrees uh, plus uh, 15 degrees. If we add these two angles, that is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, we figured out our angle beta as uh, 60 degrees. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given uh, formula. Our x value is uh, 2 and our this uh, alpha angle is uh, 45 degrees and this uh, angle uh, beta is uh, 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So H is going to be equal to our base is uh, 2 divided by tangent of uh, 90 degrees minus uh, 45 degrees and then minus uh, tangent of uh, 90 degrees minus 60 degrees and now we can see 90 degrees minus 45 degrees is going to give us 45 degrees and likewise over here 90 degrees minus 60 degrees is going to give us 30 degrees and now we can see tangent of 45 degrees is always equal to 1 and tangent of 30 degrees is 1 divided by square root of 3. So therefore tangent of 45 degrees is going to become 1 and tangent of 30 degrees is uh, being uh, substituted by 1 divided by square root of 3. So therefore we can write uh, h uh, equals to 2 divided by 1 minus 1 divided by square root of uh, 3 
and now I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 3 on the numerator and square root of 3 at the denominator at the very same time. So therefore our h is going to be equal to on the numerator 2 times square root of 3. I'm going to write down 2 times the square root of 3 divided by we are going to distribute uh, this square root of 3 over here. So that is going to give us uh, square root of uh, 3. And then uh, this is going to give us minus uh, 1. And here is our next step. We are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying and dividing uh, by its conjugate. So let me go ahead and multiply and divide by square root of 3 plus 1. And at the same time I am going to divide by square root of 3 plus 1 uh, as well. And now we are going to multiply the numerators and at the very same time I am going to multiply these uh, denominators uh, as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b times a plus b could be written as uh, a square minus b square the difference of two squares. So therefore let's focus uh, on this uh, denominator. If we call this as our a and this is b likewise a and b then uh, this denominator is going to become uh, square root of 3 whole uh, square minus uh, 1 uh, square and that is going to give us 3 minus 1 equals to 2. So therefore the denominator if we multiply this thing turns out to be simply equals to 2. So therefore h could be written as uh, and the numerator is going to be 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 plus 1 all over we figured out the value of this one as 2 at the denominator and now we can see this 2 and 2 cancels out so therefore our height h turns out to be square root of 3 times square root of 3 plus 1 and now we are going to distribute uh, square root of 3 over here. So therefore our height uh, h is going to be equal to when we multiply this thing that is going to give us 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. And here is our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle by using this uh, formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case our base uh, is 2 and the height uh, h uh, is 3 plus square root of 3. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 1 divided by 2 times the base is uh, 2 and the height uh, h is 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 3. And here we can see 2 and 1 divided by 2 cancel each other out. So therefore area of this triangle turns out to be 3 plus uh, square root of 3 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be 3 plus square root of 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 4.73 square units uh, as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.